What's going on guys? Thresh back here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video where today I'm gonna show you my new team build here in NHL 22. Now obviously I have my god squad with McDavid and all those crazy players that never played for the Red Wings but obviously as a Wings fan it's always fun to build an all Red Wing team. Now unfortunately there are some players who I wanted who just don't exist. They're not on the market. They're not obtainable. So the team looks a little interesting right now. Obviously as uh, the months go on I'm gonna keep changing it and upgrading it and making it better. But I really do think my all-time Wings team at the moment is pretty cool. Now, before we continue on here, I apologize for the way I look. I have not showered today. Uh, I stayed up late. I watched WrestleMania night one, um, had a good time, had a few beers, had some pizza, had some friends over and just had a good time. And I woke up and I found the card I've been looking for for a while on the auction house. And I, I had to buy him. He was 750K. I had to buy him. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the team here. Let me know what you think, and uh, it's, it's an interesting squad for sure. To start it off, we have my captain's line, Steve Eisenman, Henrik Zetterberg, and Dylan Larkin. Um, I have not used Eisenman much this year, but Zetterberg and Larkin are mainstays on my main squad. Uh, Eisenman, 95 overall, looks all right. Would like a little bit more of a speed boost for him. The rest of his stats, the rest of his card looks awesome. He's just a little slow, but the card itself looks pretty cool. We have Henrik Zetterberg, of course. Um, I have him as the assistant, and I have Dylan Larkin as the assistant because you can't take the C off the captain. It's just not gonna happen. Eisenman, Zetterberg, and Larkin, my captain's line. I absolutely love that. Uh, line number two, and I don't really have a theme for any of the lines. I wanted to do it, but again, trying to find some of the cards to do things, a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. So line number two, we have Lucas Raymond, 93, team of the season, about to be 95, by the way, as he scored two goals last night, two goals two nights ago, last night, two nights ago. He scored two goals. <laughs> he scored a couple goals. Obviously, he had his Evo. So his uh, card's going to go up to a 95 in uh, in two days or tomorrow, actually. It will be. So that's awesome. I'm very happy. 95 Raymond's going to look really sick. Next to Keith Primo. If you guys don't know, Primo did play for the Wings. He's actually drafted by the Wings, if I'm not mistaken. He played there for a long time. I actually have a signed jersey from Keith Primo with the inscription of his NHL debut, which is super cool on the Red Wings. So very happy to have him on the team. And we have Andreas Athanasiu. Now, this is the card I was talking about. Well, one of the cards I was talking about that uh, it looks a little bit strange to have on the team. That was super quick, and obviously, I was a big Athanasiu fan. However, there was someone else I wanted to have in here, and that was the 93 overall, Jacob Vrana. Unfortunately, that card doesn't exist. I can't find one on the auction house. I, I've been looking and looking. There was a 90 overall Vrana, but I wasn't paying 70k for him when I can get Athanasiu for 33. So... Afton is you. Welcome to the squad. We're definitely going to try him out. We've got Gordy Howe here at 95 overall. I could have gotten his icon card, but at 95 with the couple uh, synergies he has here, it really helps him out. Just as good. I'm uh, I'm very happy to have Gordy Howe on the squad as well because you got to have Gordy. If you're going to have an all-time Wings team, you have to have Gordy Howe. We have uh, the card I've been begging for since I came home from uh, my wedding. Elmer Soderblom! Finally, I got him 750k on the auction house. It's an overpayment, maybe, but he's six foot eight, 99 face-off ability. Kind of slow, but he's six foot eight. I can't wait to see how this card plays, and I'm gonna put him on my main team as well. And I have Philip Zadina, the free card from Christmas. I have him on the team as well here. Um, I would like to move Zadina down to the fourth, and maybe do like Zadina Raymond. Maybe like a Valeno card comes out, and I could do like the future cards or I don't know what I want to do but like I'd like to have more theme to everything because obviously first line we have the captains second line I could do something like Primo um Draper and someone else like some people who were on the team in the mid 90s and then we can do like an all-time greats team of like how Lindsay you know what I mean like I'd like to do more stuff like that but the cards just aren't either available or don't exist yet and then here on line four we have Sam Gagne um, I just needed the right-handed player, and he fit the fill pretty well. 92 overall, can't complain with that. Uh, not the fastest guy out there, but hey, it's Sam Gagne. He's, he's a right-handed 92 overall player, and he played for the wings. Good enough. Uh, we have Valtteri Filpula. Again, another card here who I really like, and I have Filpula, and then I have Darren Helm. Obviously, they were on the 2008 Cup winning team, so Filpula and Helm, you know, I, I could have like a, a third option here, but I, I gotta have that person pop up. You know what I mean? Like, it's these cards need to come into the market. They need to exist in order for me to be able to get them. So that's why the team is the way it is right now. I don't want you to be like, I can't believe you're using Sam Gagne. He's not a great red wing. Yeah, but he's right-handed. 
and he's high overall, and I can use him on my team. Now for the defense, we've got Nicholas Lidstrom. Um, I have him at 93 overall. I don't have the uh, collectibles at the moment. I need four more collectibles to upgrade him one more, but even with that upgrade, it doesn't help his speed at all, unfortunately. But, I mean, he looks like a pretty damn good card. We've got Moritz Sider, of course, the team of the season, who could potentially win the Calder. And if that happens, he's going to be like 97, 98 by the end of the year. It's going to be a disgusting card. We've got Danny DeKaiser, the Hut Champs card. Um, I'm going to be dead honest with you. The fact that Danny DeKaiser is my best overall Red Wing defenseman is disgusting. But I do really like his card. Uh, DeKaiser's card is one of my favorites to use all year. Uh, we got Larry Murphy. I had to pick him up. Unfortunately, only 89 overall. I would like to... Uh, like a 94 and 95 Murphy would be unbelievable. Uh, his skating is already really good. He has a really good shot. So uh, an upgraded Murphy would be unreal. But 89 Murphy here. We have Ollie Yulevi. Now, he's only played, I think, one game for Detroit. But he's played for Detroit, right? He has been on Detroit. So I have him. And uh, I haven't used him yet. But he's 6'2". Kind of slow. He's got a fairly average card, but hey, he's 91 overall. You know, I wanted to keep that overall high. And now for the controversial one. And I don't think you can say it's a controversial one because I also have Soderblom. But I have Vili Sariarvi, who never actually played for the Red Wings, but he did play for the Red Wings in preseason. And he was a Red Wing draft pick. And him being a draft pick, that's fine with me. Sariarvi makes the squad. He's 92 overall. Decent card, actually, just in general. He's kind of short, but other than that, the card is very good looking. And I am not going to back down on using Sari Arvi. Someone, I guarantee, is going to be like, you shouldn't be using him. He didn't actually play. Do you know what? Soda just a prospect. And do I have another prospect on the team, too, who has yet to play a game for the Red Wings? It counts. I don't care. Speaking of that card, it is Sebastian Kosa here at 87 overall. Um, I'm very excited to try him out at 6'6". Six six. I'm very excited for his future. I'm hoping that he becomes a big part of the Red Wings' future for sure. In backup, I have Terry Sawchuk, 84 overall. I had him in the collection. I figured, why not throw him in? I'll probably never end up using him, but he's got the Wings logo, 84 overall. Obviously, he is a legend. I like it. For synergies, we have Light the Lamp, Spark, Thief, Distributor, Protector, Fly the Zone, Bombarded, Buzzing, Workhorse. I'm working on Gladiator, but uh, I'm looking for a couple more upgrades. Of course, I have Verona I'd love to pick up. There's a few other cards that just don't exist on the auction house that I would love to get. I could also go build uh, Chris Draper again and have Draper as a center and have Draper, Filpula, and Helm. There's no righties there, but I could maybe make that work. You know, like there, there's a lot that I can do to improve the team, but where it is right now, I'm very happy with it. L left side's kind of weak, but that can change with a Verona. Uh, there is a 93 Verona that exists. If I get him, left side looks a lot better. And the right side looks like a lot of fun to use. Eiserman, Raymond, Howe, Gagne, and you know, I, I get it, I get it, but I'm very happy with the team, and uh, I'm very excited to see what you guys think of my all-time Detroit Red Wings build. It is going to improve. I'll get back to you in a few weeks when I uh, find some cards on the auction house and I upgrade the team, but for now, I'm very happy with it. On that note, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and let me know down below what you think of my all-time Red Wing build. Now, of course, I get it. You guys are probably like, oh, he didn't play for the Wings. He's just a pick. It doesn't... I do consider draft picks to count towards the Red Wing build um, to say that I wouldn't be able to use Soderblom or Kosa. I just, I got to use them. You know what I mean? And sorry, RV has a good card. I wanted to try him out. And he did technically, he suited up for Detroit. All right. So I don't want anyone to attack me about this. I think I've built a pretty fun squad to use and I can't wait to, uh, to try him out. If you guys want to see some gameplay with them, I think I'm going to go live on Twitch. There's a link in the description if you want to follow me on Twitch. But I think I'm going to go live on Twitch and just try them out in Champs next weekend. So if you guys want to follow me over on Twitch and see me play with this squad, uh, feel free. And uh, I'm very excited to see how they play. But anyways, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Stay frosty.